in New Jersey, uh, the hospitals aren't allowing as many students into the units for clinical experiences. So we have that stress where we're graduating students that don't have as many actual hours, hands-on hours with patients. So we have to find um, different creative ways to get the learning in and to help them to develop that criti those critical thought processes, the clinical judgment to start thinking like a nurse, which you know for many is, is a totally different thought process than what they're used to. Um, and we, I've found creative ways to do that with hypothesis because uh, with the social annotation, with the social reading, with hypothesis, you know, one of the thir first things they have to do is they have to notice. And um, there is a model of a model of thought, a model of um, clinical judgment of, of nurse thinking that that says um, that uses in this model, it's noticing, interpreting, um, responding, and then reflecting, which is basically what students do when they are doing a social reading, they have to read the text notice what, hey, what stands out to me? What is important here? And then they have to, you know, think about it. And then they, um, they have to interpret it. Then they have to respond to it. And then they reflect, okay? So it's, it's kind of, you know, rewiring their brain when, and to, to start that th thinking, that thought process to think like, like a nurse. So we just have to come up with different ways when we can't get them, into those experiences, we have to think, okay, what, what can we do differently to help them develop those thought process, thought processes to, to have that clinical judgment and critical thinking that they need to, to, be a, to be a nurse, to practice safely after they graduate. 